Hey, what is up guys, it's SilverSun here and today I'm going to be giving you guys my view on the Dragon Ball Super episode 73. So this episode starts off with Jocko pretty much hanging out at this little restaurant eating ramen and basically he's talking to a chef saying that oh, there's a really diabolical and bad um, wanted parasite type thing in his spaceship pretty much called Watergosh. And I'm basically saying, like, oh, shouldn't you just hurry up and put it in jail and whatnot? But then he's just like, no, I'm taking a quick pit stop. But that was pretty much the problem as the parasite escapes and pretty much he has to go and chase it down. Meanwhile, we cut back to Gohan, who pretty much gets informed that there's going to be a movie about the Great Saiyan versus Mr. Satan. And so basically him, Videl... And Mr. Satan, of course, go down to the movie shoot to see what's going on and how the film's going to look. But, surprisingly, the star of the movie is going to be this guy called Barry Khan instead of um, Gohan at the start. And basically, he's there, and he's pretty much being a jerk saying that, you know, they need to change everything about the movie and it's not right. And he wants it to go his way. One little tidbit that I thought was kind of funny is we actually saw Goku for a quick second this um, episode. And I mean like for a quick second, like probably five or three seconds of him literally just sneezing on King, on King Kai's planet. And then it pretty much just cuts back to whatever was going on before. As it shows Barry Khan pretty much hitting on Videl asking if she wants an autograph. While pretty much Gohan's just standing right there, you know, as he's asking this and whatnot, and everybody's like watching and whatnot, and so pretty much she rejects him, obviously saying that Gohan's like a thousand times better than he is, and so pretty much we move on to the movie to where they're pretty much making this action scene, and then pretty much Barry's saying, oh, I don't want to use wires or anything like that for like the stuntman and whatnot, and they're thinking that they can't do it. So pretty much Gohan offers to do it, and he does it pretty epically, actually. He jumps in, and then he goes into the tank, rescues the guy, and then does his signature Saiyan Man pose. But pretty much Barry says that he did it wrong, at least the pose part, until pretty much the director comes over and says, like, oh, do you have a problem with that? Until Barry pretty much says, like, no, no, I'm okay, and whatnot, and pretty much just runs off. And so the director pretty much offers Gohan to be the uh, stuntman for the movie. It cuts to later in the day to where pretty much this bank robbery is going on. And we actually get a little cameo from Krill in his little cop outfit. And basically he's trying to arrest the um, robbers until pretty much the great Saiyan man comes in. And then so pretty much the robbers remember him back from um, back in the past and whatnot. And so pretty much they start fighting until that um parasite thing from earlier in the episode, the Watergosh pretty much goes in and starts possessing one of the uh, robbers. But it didn't take long till Gohan pretty much puts them to rest. And I thought it was kind of funny how he was about to do a Kamehameha on them, but pretty much he just stops and shoots off a small beam and that pretty much takes care of that. So basically everyone hears about it and they're pretty much praising Gohan for what he did. And so basically he um actually gets overheard by one of the other actors, um, this idol basically. Her name was Coco and so basically she asked him to um help fly her around the city because she found out that um he's actually the great Saiyan man and whatnot. And so pretty much they start flying you know, throughout the evening and throughout the night until pretty much Jocko shows up at the very end and pretty much blasts um, Gohan because he thinks that the water gosh parasite thing pretty much um, got into him. And then that's pretty much where the episode ends. But as far as the episode goes, it was all right in terms of plot. You know, nothing really like moving the story along, just kind of a almost fillerish episode with Gohan in it and whatnot. I mean, it's kind of cool to see the Great Saiyan Man back and whatnot, but I never really liked him all that much, that whole Persona superhero thing. I think it's kind of cool at times, you know, but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of silly and whatnot. Animation was pretty all right, you know, nothing mind-blowing, obviously, but nothing too terrible or anything like that. But 
tell me what you guys thought of this episode. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Did you think anything could have been better? Did you think anything was worse than um, last week's episode or anything like that? And yeah, until the next one, guys, Silver Sun is out.